An alien, Amir Khan, with a human-like body lands on Earth for a research mission on the human world. He is stranded in Rajasthan after a villager steals his spaceship's remote control device. The alien pursues the man in an attempt to recover his device, but only manages to take the thief's radio recorder. He later discovers that roaming naked on Earth is not considered natural. As a result, he starts stealing clothes and cash from couples having sex in cars with open windows. The alien befriends Baron Singh, Sanjay Dutt, who believes the alien is just a person suffering from dementia. Singh assists the alien in acclimating to the village. The alien has the ability to transfer a person's memory to his own brain by holding that person's hands, and he uses this technique to learn the local language. However, he discovers that simply grabbing the hands of a stranger, male or female, is not acceptable, and because he does not yet speak the language, he is unable to explain what he desires. Singh takes this alien to a brothel because he interprets his behavior as sexual interest. Over there, the alien learns the language by holding a prostitute's hand for several hours. The alien travels to Delhi after learning that it is most likely where his stolen device will be sold. People in the city mistake his strange behavior for inebriation and refer to him as PK. People tell him that only God can help him find the device in Delhi, which turns out to be a very large city. However, PK is perplexed by the various religions and their various interpretations of God. PK later discovers that his device is in the possession of a godman, Tapasvi Maharaj, Saurabh Shukla. The godman, on the other hand, falsely claims to have obtained it from the Himalayas and refuses to return it to PK. Meanwhile, in Bruges, TV reporter Jagu, Anushka Sharma, meets a man named Sarfras, Sushant Singh Rajput. Despite the fact that Jagu's father is strongly opposed to their relationship because Sarfras is from Pakistan, Jagu decides to marry Sarfras in Bruges anyway. While she waits for Sarfras in the town hall, a boy brings her a letter in which he states that the marriage is off due to their differences and asks her not to contact him. Jagu, disappointed, walks away, discarding the letter by leaving it on a chair. Later, when Jagu returns to India, he sees PK distributing leaflets about a missing god. As a reporter, she is intrigued by this strange man and contacts him. P.K. tells her everything. Jagu persuades her channel head, Bomani Rani, to produce a TV show with P.K. that exposes Tapasvi. People become connected to the show and open their eyes to the fake godmen. Tapasvi arrives at the studio to confront P.K. In the same TV show, Tapasvi uses Jagu's personal experience with Sarfras to prove a point. Due to P.K.'s request, Jagu reluctantly contacts Sarfras, prompting her to contact the Pakistan embassy in Belgium. The embassy informs Jagu that Sarfras calls them every day to see if Jagu has called. The message in Bruges turned out to be a case of mistaken identity by the letter delivery boy. 
Sarfras had arrived after Jagu had left the town hall and assumed the message was from Jagu for him. The confusion between them is resolved. Tapasvi reluctantly returns PK's device after hearing this. Throughout the process, PK falls in love with Jagu but refuses to tell her because she loves Sarfras. He fills his suitcases with batteries while recording tapes with her voice on them so that he can always hear them on his home planet. He lies to Jagu about the contents of the tapes as he leaves. Jagu, having discovered the true contents of the tapes, remains painfully silent. Jagu later writes a book about PK and says at a book reading that she misses him terribly because of the memories he left her with and the impact he had on her life. The film concludes with PK returning to Earth a year later for additional research with another alien, Ranbir Kapoor.